if you love fishing or the beach, then you'll want to come to Long Point Provincial Park. Long Point Provincial Park is located in southwestern Ontario on the shore of Lake Erie. It is located in the hamlet of Long Point in Norfolk County. It is situated on a peninsula between Long Point Bay and Lake Erie with over two kilometers of sandy beach along Lake Erie. Permit. Site 36. Site 36? Yeah. Is there a uh, area of the park that is? Okay, so office is right here. I go on the next page. And around. I'm gonna go either this way or that way because it's full through. And it's Firefly Campground. Yeah. So there's a fill station just outside of the park with the dump station. But the uh, hose is not threaded. Once you go through the gate and head to the campgrounds, there's another just a fill station. It's not a dump station, but it's threaded. Then I can use my uh, RV water filter, and I much prefer that for filling up. We always run this yeah. cool steel yeah. bucket list right off the bat. Got a little flush there. So we always do that. This is a brand new filter. With or without a filter, let the hose flush through for a second. It's nice having this little spring loaded thing here. You can just set it there and it'll fill up. There are four campgrounds with a total of 144 electric and 109 non-electric. They're called Monarch's Rest, Firefly, Turtle Dunes and Cottonwood, which is also known as Old Park. Monarch's Rest has 40 electric sites and 29 non. Firefly has 54 pull-through sites and they're all electric. Turtle Dunes has 19 electric and 34 non. Cottonwood has 31 electric and 46 non. If you're staying in Cottonwood, you better like the sand. They don't allow trailers over 18 feet long. There's no group campsites, there's no hiking trails, and there's no cycling trails. There are three comfort stations with flush toilets and showers, and two comfort stations with just toilets, and those two are at the day use area. There are two children's playgrounds. There's a small park store in the registration office. We're at the park boat launch, which is on the bay side of the park, and the fishing here is awesome. You can use uh, power boats or you can use your canoe or kayak. The boat launch is free to use with your park pass. You can even park in one of the slips at no extra cost. And that's all on the bay side. On the lake side, uh, I don't really know of many people fishing from there, and there is no boat launch onto the lake side. And this area of the beach is for the dogs. Your furry friends are welcome here.
So we're hearing this strange buzzing noise. It almost sounds like a drone, except it's all around us. And we're trying to figure out what it is, like what kind of machine makes that kind of noise. We can't figure out what it is. And then we're looking and saw, thought we saw smoke. We're seeing clouds of some sort of bugs. And they're doing all the buzzing sound. Listen for the sound. That's kind of freaking me out a little bit. That's a lot of bugs. Let's go back to the campfire. Get close to the trailer. All these just in case. Mosquito things everywhere. They don't bite, they just are really annoying. If you're camping at Long Point Provincial Park, be sure to stop by at Dub General Store for shady people only. I've met friends on the way, people chosen to make a stand. I felt strong in the water level has gone down a bit this year from last year, and that's a good thing. It was so high last year. The last couple of years, we lost a few beaches. Uh, this beach almost disappeared, but uh, it's come back. It's looking pretty good this year, and I think it'll just get better. Long Point used to be an island. Then in 1929, they built a causeway from the mainland to the island. The first part of Long Point is made up of cottages. The second part is Long Point Provincial Park. And from the Provincial Park to the tip, it's all undeveloped land owned by the Long Point Company. Kids came to the campsite for a Father's Day visit. Hi, kids. Hi. Yeah, Eric here is crazy enough to go in the water with me. Well, he wanted to go in, and I couldn't let him go in alone, so we went for a swim. It was a little chilly. But I still hold you dear despite the heartbreak you caused in me. Buddy, you're nice. staying in their trailer tonight, okay? <laughs> We're really lucky to be at Long Point right now. It's June 18th, but we originally planned on being here two weeks ago. That was the uh, original booking that we had, but then about four weeks ago, we found out that uh, the stay-at-home order wasn't being lifted. We weren't going to be able to do that trip. But that's when I remembered something. Last February, we put out a video, five tips for booking in Terra Provincial Park. And I asked everybody to comment below with their tips for booking a park. And that's when I found out about Camp Nab. At first, I was a little leery of Camp Nab because there was all this talk about the uh, computer bots that were buying up all the campsites and then selling them at a much higher price like a scalper does. And I was concerned about that. So then I looked into it and found out that Camp Nab isn't like that at all. What it does is it scans the park's website for you looking for cancellations. If it finds a cancellation, it sends you a text message. And then it's up to you to get onto the park's website and actually reserve the site yourself. They have a lot of different plans. The plan that seemed to be uh, ideal for me is the good plan. 
and that's $10 a month, but you can cancel it at any time. For the $10 a month, you get three scans, so you can look at three different parks or uh, the same park for three different dates, whatever. Uh, and you can look for uh, a park for up to 12 months in advance. And it will scan the park's website every 15 minutes. Uh, when it gets a notification, you simply get a text message to your cell phone. So there's no app to install on your phone or anything. This is a web-based app. It worked really slick. I got this site within a day of starting the scan. And uh, within a week or two, I got uh, a site at Sandbanks Provincial Park. We already had a booking there, but it wasn't for an ideal site. So I just put a scan in for a better site and uh, there's a cancellation, I was notified of it. I simply uh, changed my reservation and I now have a much better site. So it's a pretty cool app. I like it. You should uh, maybe give it a try. Just gonna try out some fishing behind my dad's cottage and little channel here. It's Father's Day weekend and you don't need a fishing license. Thanks Ontario government. So we'll see what we can catch here. It's all catch and release for me though. We've arrived at the dump station. First things first, gloves on first. Out comes the hose. We've got the elbow, clear elbow on the end, just so we can see everything. These are both closed. Make sure the black and gray valves are closed before opening. I've made that mistake before. Yeah, we've done that before, and that's, you don't want to have that happen. It's all okay, up. black open first, let her rip, and then the uh, gray valve opens to clear everything. The black flush tank is a red hose, not a white hose. White hoses are for drinking water. Got it plugged in here, we're going to flush. <clears throat> all good? Yep. Ben, what are your thoughts? Well. That was, uh, it was different for us. It's not it the type of camping we normally do, but I still had a good time. Yeah. Now we have to review all these different parks. We can't stick in our comfort zone all the time. We have to expand and experience different things. Yeah. Uh, for people that like the beach and for people that like fishing, this park is a 10 because that's what it's all about. You got the beach. If lots you like, of sand. Lots and lots of sand. Yeah, you're right. Every site, lots of sand. Lots of sand. And you better enjoy the sand because it's going to be everywhere. It's going to be throughout your trailer. If you have a dog or kids, yeah, it's going to be everywhere. And then there's the fishing on the other side. You got the lake side with the uh, beach and you got the bay side with the fishing and excellent fishing. Some of the best in Southern Ontario. Uh, if you have a power boat, there's the uh, uh, boat launch there. You can put it in, you can leave it there. It doesn't cost you any extra money. You can go out there uh, with your power boat, do water skiing, tubing, whatever you want to do. You can also go with the boat launch to do the uh, kayaking and canoeing. It's a, it's a marshy area right around there, so you can go in around the uh, marshy area. But uh, it's more ideal for, for power boating. How do you feel about the sights? We were in the uh, drive through section. Oh, Firefly. Yeah, we thought it would be easier just with the size of our trailer that we pull in. It's very open. You're right next to your neighbors, which I prefer not to be. I mean, our neighbors were fine. <laughs> I don't know if it's the spot where we were, but we were swarmed with those, what are they, mayflies or fish flies? Something like that. They look they like mosquitoes, but they don't bite. They just hoard you and get in your face. Yeah. So that was kind of a turn off for me. But that could be just the time of the year. Yeah, it's, it's uh, June. middle of June yeah. right now. Yeah. 
And I think because we were the first one closest to the brush. To the marshy area. Yeah, that we got hit with it the most because it seemed to be okay further back. There was a little bit more of a breeze. But um, I think I'd prefer the enclosed. <gasps> Guy in a Mercedes pulled out directly in front of us. Because you can't see a big truck and trailer coming right at you. When I honked and swerved, he uh, hit the brakes and <laughs> oh we got around him. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Settle down a little bit here. Okay. I prefer uh, more trees in an enclosed campsite. More yeah. privacy. Yeah. From our site, you could probably see 30 other sites. But that was just in the Firefly campground. Yeah. The other campgrounds, a lot more privacy. There are They are smaller too, though. Yep. Yeah. But if we were to go back, uh, I'd go to one of the other campsites yeah. and get an electric site there. Yeah. Um, good part about that is uh, if you want to go to the beach from anywhere in the There's park. There's like a pathway from each kind of campground or roadway. You just go up over the dune and you're at the beach. It's not far at all. Yeah, I think you there's, can 10 walk. Path, there's 10 pathways. You can walk there. And uh, most of those pathways have like an orange mat that rolls out that you, it's easy just to walk over. Yeah. And from anywhere in the park, you're at the beach in less than five minutes walking. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't have to drive to the beach. Dog Beach is excellent. It's a big open area. Um, really good dog beach. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that's actually off leash. Yeah. Kingston had fun. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But there's no actual hiking trails or cycling trails. No. There's no visitor center. The park store is a tiny little spot in the office. Yeah, there's not a whole lot there. But you're going to want to go out to either hop into Stubbs or Rotten Ronnie's or if you need more grocery type items, 20 minute drive or so to yeah. Port Rowan. You can get ice cream at Stubbs. You can get ice cream yeah. at uh, Utterly Cool. Yeah. Uh, those are places just, out, yeah, just outside of the park. But the park doesn't have a lot of the stuff that we normally like mm -hmm. in a park. It's just your basic run-of-the-mill old, older style campground, I think. Right. But we still had fun because yeah. it's nice to try something different, to try something new. For us, we like to explore a lot more. We like hiking. We like cycling. We like beautiful kayaking. views. Yep. Kayaking, that sort of stuff. We love all that sort of stuff. So for us, it's uh, it doesn't get a real high rating. Uh, we've already discussed this, and uh, mm -hmm. we I, think probably a six. Yeah, six. Yeah. So our official rating for Long Point Provincial Park for us is six. Six. <laughs> okay, and that's our review of Long Point Provincial Park. And where are we heading to next? Next, we're going to be continuing with our Lake Erie Parks. Yeah. And we're going to be going to Wheatley is. Provincial Park. Is it Wheatley? Okay. And then Rondeau Provincial Park, then Port Burwell, and Turkey, then Turkey Point. Point. And that'll be our Lake Erie run. Yep. And then we'll head up north from there. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.